Now that you may have rushed your first character to level 80 and you have to focus on leveling any of your alts, you might be wondering what are the fastest ways to level those alts? Well, today we're going to talk about these six fastest ways to level your alts in Wrath of the Lich King from 70 up to 80. These farms are all phenomenal and they will make things a lot easier than probably your first experience was leveling your main character all the way up to 80. And flying drastically increases a ton of these farms. You can level so much faster now that you can get around the world a lot faster. Also, Wintergrass, if you can, try to make sure you're always on a layer with the Wintergrass buff. It's an extra 5% for your leveling experience. And without further ado, let's check out what the six fastest farms are. Number six is going to be the Drac Atal Passage. This is in Grizzly Hills, and this is one of the spots we saw a lot of people in the race world first go to utilize because there is an incredibly high mob density. Now, these first couple locations are all going to be focused primarily on where you can mob tag and mob farm a lot faster than you can do anything like questing for the most part. But the one thing that is a huge caveat here is that if other people are here farming it, then your XP per hour greatly goes down because that means other people are fighting you for all of the tags. But to get to this location, you just want to go to the map right here in Grizzly Hills. You can notice I'm right here and go here and then just run around tagging everything. This will give you crazy XP per hour as just a general farm. And it's also one of the lesser farm locations of the ones that are open world. The next spot is in Shalazar Basin. This is going to help you from level 74 pretty much all the way up to level 80 if you want to farm here. And this is going to be the Venture Co. location. Swindle Grins Dig. Now, in the background, I'm again using footage from LMGD's Race World First, where he got World Second, but this is an incredibly fast location because, again, the mob density is ridiculous. And this actually is more of a hyper spawn than the last location, where the mobs actually respawn almost quick enough for you to just keep running around in a complete circle. Mages can come here, Paladins can come here, Death Knights, Warlocks, any class that has any sort of AOE also boomkins anything like that can just run here and you just pretty much run around in a circle and you can get over a million xp per hour if you're doing this well you could actually get ridiculous amounts of xp per hour up to like 1.8 probably now that we have heirlooms and also of course if you had something like your wintergrass buff the next and absolutely best of the hyper spawns or open world farm locations where you're just tagging mobs and burning all of them down while you run in a circle is going to be the seal farm Notify PETA because this is going to be out of hand. The mob density and the respawn time of these seals is unbelievable. These little mobs give you crazy amounts of XP and by the time you've actually cleared out the entire zone of them, they fully respawn. So you never have to stop tagging or just running in circles and getting insane XP. This is the craziest way to start yourself out. You can go here at level 68 if you were entering into Northrend early, but you can pretty much set yourself up up here all the way until about level 75 where you'll move to any of the other farms if you are doing open world. But the biggest caveat is, of course, that this is the best one, so it is also the most farmed out. It's actually almost extremely rare to find this location where no one else is here farming it. But they're just running around in circles, tagging everything, and it will absolutely respawn. Multiple mobs respawn at the same time, too. It's a crazy, crazy location for XP per hour. I would highly suggest you check it out, but again, only if you want to do the mob grinding way of leveling, and also if it is not farmed out. Number three on the list and my favorite farm to do that just supplements your XP per hour so well at the higher levels is the Gun Drac farm. If you can get a group of three to four people and smash through Gun Drac, not killing any of the bosses, just clearing all of the trash, you can get up to 1.5 million XP per hour now that we have heirlooms as well as buffs. This is crazy XP and it is super fast. You clear the entire dungeon in five minutes, turn around, reset, and enter in again, do it all over again. You do this five times and your reset is over in 30 minutes and then you can go and start your questing, which is going to be phenomenal right now, but you can also go to your Sons of Hodir, which is extremely close. You can fly right up there. Then you can head directly into Ice Crown. If you are supplementing your leveling with this farm in Gundrak, you will blast 280 and you will also already have unlocked your Sons of Hodir and whatever reputations you wanted to farm early. I suggest for melee classes, make 
making sure you unlock your Knights of Ebon Blade Tabard, and then flying back here, summoning your group, and just blasting through Gundrak again. Gundrak itself is one of the highest XP per hours I've seen of any farm by far. It is phenomenal, other than potentially Now's farm, which I don't know if it was patched. I do still need to go and test that, where he got the race to world first. I don't know if you can solo it. I will be testing that, guys. And I'm also trying to work on a way of soloing Gundrak, which might be the best XP per hour, and it might end up being the way people sell boosts. We'll see for the future, and stay tuned for a video about that. The second best way to level your ult by far, and this is actually insane, and it's gonna kind of catch you guys off guard, is actually questing. No joke whatsoever. Now that we have two items of heirloom gear giving us 20% extra XP from quests and from mobs we kill, and pairing that with the ability to have flying at level 68, you can quest so incredibly fast that it is actually way faster than almost any other farm. Definitely faster than dungeon farming and almost faster than any of the hyperspawn farms, especially if you have to contest for those at all. With questing and flying now, we're seeing people hit easily around 1.4 million XP per hour. Especially if you have rested, like actual rested experience on your alts, then you can hit up to 1.6 6 million without really stressing. You're actually just following the quest lines. If you have something like the Rested XP Guide, then you are just literally following an arrow, just doing that over and over again, making it really simple for you guys to just blast all the way up to level 80. This is phenomenal, and now that a lot of people are either level 80 or a lot of people are in sort of their own little situations while leveling, you're no longer fighting for tags so that you can finish a loot quest trying to see if you can actually get this named mob usually people are friendly enough to invite or accept an invite if there's a kill quest it is really smooth and we're actually seeing most of the people that competed in the race to world first actually just level all of their alts just by following quests and questing is one of those routes where you're actually experiencing the world of Northrend something that you absolutely don't do in any of the other farms so this will actually send you all the way through Northrend you'll actually get a lot of experience and you'll actually make something like seven to eight thousand gold while questing your way up to level 80. As always, I'm a huge fan of using the Rested XP guide. You can see in the distance that I literally just follow an arrow and you're probably seeing almost every streamer or content creator just using this guide. If you want a discount on it, you can grab it below, but you don't need this guide. This guide is a paid guide. You absolutely don't need it. Just grab Questy and it'll send you over to locations. My only caveat there is Questy is still being updated, so there's a lot of kind of kinks and flaws in Questy right now, but there's a lot of flaws and kinks in almost every guide. Do whatever you like, level whichever way you like, but Questing is actual ridiculous XP per hour right now, and it is the second best way to level right now, pretty much without a doubt. And moving on to number one, what is the king of leveling right now? What is the highest XP per hour that you could possibly get. This might come as no surprise to you guys, but that's going to be the Botanica farms, or realistically, it's going to be actually your solo farms in dungeons. Now, this is extremely reliant on what class you're leveling. Warriors are probably potentially even the fastest of all of them. In the background, we can see Alondo, and he was actually able to sustain over 1.5 million early on doing this farm. Now, if you can add the 20% XP to this from having your heirlooms and not have issues with your gear, then you will see ridiculous gains in experience. Now, other classes can also farm Botanica, something like Paladins or also Death Knights, and Botanica is a very cozy farm. It is by far the best for warriors, massive drop-offs in XP per hour for any of the other classes, and a lot of the times, some of the farm videos that I've seen are always suggesting these farms while also getting like full raid buffs from other people outside of the dungeon just kind of waiting there, so I would kind of always have a little caveat there. I did test out all of the dungeon farms on DK. Some of the ones in the Auchindon, like Manatees and Sethic Halls, were a lot slower, so I would highly suggest Botanica if you want a cozy one where you just kind of zone out. On the other hand, if you are a Death Knight or a Paladin or a Mage, you could just head into Utgard Keep and do the solo farms there. Now, the Utgard Keep first pull is insanely high XP per hour, and then the second pull added onto that is also really nice, but I've seen a lot of people have challenges 
challenges or issues actually being able to kite the dragons around. So I would warn you, you do need to run into these little like pillars that outsick. You kind of hit them and then turn, it glitches the drakes. But this farm is phenomenal. It is great XP per hour and it is a lot better than Botanica for DKs. I personally am leveling my third death knight, doing the first pull in here and then going out and questing. That's something I would highly suggest for everybody is supplement every version of your leveling farm with questing. Now that you can, it is just so easy and it is actually so ridiculous how good of XP you get with your heirlooms and now having flying. It just makes things so much faster. And there you have it guys. Those are the six fastest ways to level your ult. These are the highest XP per hour locations in the game currently known. And if something else comes out, I will share that info with you guys. Thanks for watching, guys. And thank you all for supporting the channel. I really honestly appreciate it. I'll see you guys all on the next one.